Joe Enright is most familiar to BBC viewers as the hapless lab assistant Donna in the sitcom Lab Rats. I just love them, Alex. I can't get enough of them. So you keep saying, Cara, but three bags a day, that's a lot of mange too. Yeah, you say that, but there's not a lot to them once you get them out of the pod. You know when you ask me why I never come round to dinner? Is it the tiny peas? Yeah, it is now. <laughs> For the past 19 years, she's been playing comedy clubs the length and breadth of Britain. I like people watching in Ersington. I like listening to the names that people have given their children, names they've made up thinking they're classy. They're like this ciabatta. <laughs> but at the same time, as Jo became a comedienne, she also became a Christian. She now plays Christian gigs and festivals, as well as secular ones. So, what, what happens when you walk on stage? Do you say, hi, I'm a Christian, everyone? OK, no, I don't, cos I think that would be alienating and to be honest it's not really relevant because I, I it, if it comes out in if there's some material that it's relevant to they'll find out but I, I do a whole routine about reading your bible on a packed train and how that's the way to get a seat that's the way to get three seats and a table <laughs> it's a king james bible just slap that out <laughs> I had a whole conversation on the train where a woman, a very sort of slightly drunken businesswoman, saw me reading a Bible and she started talking about it like this, you know, and asked me if I was dying. Um, and was that why I was reading it, you know? Um, but so I do that story, but I won't necessarily say that I'm a Christian, but it might be there. If they, wanna, if they want to think that, that's great. If they want to ask me about that, that's fine. Who's been here you? since last week? Who's heckling me already? <laughs> I've never heckle ever again <laughs> on an empty head. <laughs> because I gig a lot, I often will find a church in the city that I'm gigging in. You must have been to so many churches, I've I was about to, to say. a lot of churches, Elid. But it's quite interesting arriving in a city and going, where shall I go to church? I don't know anyone. And trying to kind of build a network and sort of you know, sometimes appear at a church and sit at the back and people will go, who's the strange woman in the hat? <laughs> yeah, I'll have a smell of that. That's my new perfume, that is. Jane, me bought me that, my friend, me boyfriend. It's ever so expensive. It's called Tester. <laughs> There's a big church in Kensington called Kensington Temple and they had a lot of people in the arts and they, they started a group called the Media Arts Group which had lots of actors, writers, you know, dancers and I just used to go along there and, and, and uh, people would pray if you were in the arts, pray for you and... Pray for, for you in what way? They'd just pray for work. <laughs> <laughs> Prayer has been a really important source of strength and having people pray with me and for me, particularly people who are in the arts, who I can be real with and go, last night I did a gig and I was slaughtered and I feel so bad that I don't even want to leave the house, let alone get on stage. And to have people kind of identify with that and to be able to pray with you. I literally um, need that, that strength that comes from having a faith 